95.1 WZZL, brand new Alice in Chains called Your Decision. Happy Thirsty Thursday, I'm Barry Dawson in the studio with Paul and Wes from Puddle of Mud. Guys, welcome. Hey, so, I just found out from Paul that uh, Jerry Cantrell sang Your Decision on the Alice in Chains album. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. Yes. I didn't know that. Did anybody, anybody else sing on that or was that just Jerry? I think it's just him. It sounds like really? it's just him. Alright. He <laughs> sings, I, He's we pretty played good. A, we played a few shows with him and uh, <clears throat> they sing together like all the new stuff, like pretty much like the whole time. Yeah, right. And their harmonies are just yeah, killer. killer. Retarded. Yeah, I, I, I like no spot, like yeah, spot on. Man. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like people will call, like <laughs> be mad about the Lang thing, but I'm like, you know, what's it? William and 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 him together, dude, it's still great. Yeah, it's still great. It's, it's awesome. a hell of a show. It's a hell of a show. <laughs> great. Show. So you guys, welcome back to the Lehigh Valley. You're here at uh, Music Fest in August. And I know right. you're a big fan of Bethlehem, too. I just love this place, man. Yeah. That's some old school looking cool stuff, man. Yeah, definitely. Good we good were just talking show. about that on the way over here in the, uh, the NASCAR, awesome NASCAR thing. The yeah. NASCAR limo. That was amazing. Did dude. you come over on the truck limo? or yeah. the... We came over in the NASCAR limo. The uh, truck, no, right. truck limo. We had, you, you had the truck for you back in uh, Music Fest. Yeah, right? I know. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. was like, hey, cool, man. The little thing slides out. I'm like, dang, man. We treat our rock star as well. This rock star stuff's kind of cool. That's right. We treat them. When you get to Bethlehem, you actually feel like a rock star. Every other town, you don't. <laughs> right. Everybody treats you like Didn't a Billy Joel from head. Uh, Allentown. Allentown. Yeah, yeah. Nah, he's not from here, but I think he just sang about it, though. Oh, okay. Yeah. He's here anymore. He probably got laid now. <coughs> I think he did. Probably. I, I so, guarantee you, I'd bet money on it. I would bet money, too. You want your under the weather? Dude, I don't know what's going on. That's code for uh, over, right? Yeah. Uh, it's like, <laughs> I, I, well, I ate oysters at this place called the Eastern Standard, and I think I might have got a botched one, and so my, like, whole just self is just feeling, like, weird. There's but there's probably a little bit of hungoverness involved in the whole situation, yeah. I'm sure. I don't know if uh, I don't know about oysters, but uh, Theory of a Dead Man was here yesterday, and Tyler couldn't make it because he was sick too. So it's the lead singer thing. <clears throat> Dude, it's like I don't know what it is, man. We gotta rip these, you know. We gotta rip microphones in half and figure out how to make them disappear on, you know, every single night at like eight thirty, nine o'clock, and then you know, you know, you mean you really push it, you know, every night, and then. I mean, there's not, I mean, you know, I'm not getting any younger, dude. I hear I you. I can definitely tell you that for sure. I hear you. I hear and you. And Paul's face is getting a lot uglier each <laughs> second by the minute. Actually, I'm like a lot uglier than I, when Your I walk face, in the building. Your face, dude, my fists are going to be real, like, they're going to be they're best gonna friends. Date. They're going to date yeah. later. got to stop at freaking the coffee store and get yeah. whatever, man. Like, we would have been here earlier, but he had to, you know, he had to. Yeah, yeah brother, the brother Joel, a limo driver, calls and goes, these guys need their Starbucks. We yeah, but I don't <laughs> drink coffee and I don't drink caffeine, so he's a psychotic, addicted, weird person. Well, well hey, you, that's, you that's, anything fix. else? Pretty you didn't sell me. beer there. You gotta have your fix, right? Yeah, anything else you wanna, you wanna say? I'm ugly, I'm psychotic. I, I, are, I feel, I feel love with you. Right? There's a lot of love, you can man. tell. Paul, you, how, you, how long have you been back in the band? You were, you were away for I a came while. By, I, I Too left. long. <clears throat> yeah, he missed me, that's why he talks so highly of me. Um, no, yeah, I was gone for what, like a year and a half, maybe two years, something like that, and I came back about a year ago now. Yeah, and I and I read that uh, you said about the new album, Volume Four, Songs of the Key in of Love and in Love and Hate. Yeah, it's Spooge Fest. Spooge Fest, something right. like that. Yeah, oh, yeah, we need to talk about what it was supposed to be too. Jack uh, the <laughs> now, you, you said this album was really easy for you guys to make; it just felt natural. Yeah, it's yeah. Great. yeah, it was weird, man. Like when we first came together, like back in '99, we were kind of just. You know, we got introduced through Fred Durst, and it was like, all right, just go in a room and start working together. Boom! And then we were, like, right in the studio recording all these songs, and it's it's almost like we became, like, business partners opposed to, like, friends. And then I left, because it was real bad, you know, we were all hating each other, and it wasn't a good time. And and then we just started hanging out, like, naturally, and, like, talking on the phone, and, like, uh, he came to Jacksonville, and we hung out where I'm from, Jacksonville, we went out to bars, and... That long great and like in love, in love. built this friendship, and then it one thing led to another. And he called me up and he was like, "Hey, we got a show next week." He's like, "I want you to come out." So I came to L.A. and we decided I stayed at his house and we just wrote songs every night and you know split a bottle and yeah, I read that was my favorite yeah. part. The, the kettle yeah. one in the uh, and in the, the Southern Southern It's, it's funny, go. man. People don't believe it, but literally, that's we would just sit there and drink and write songs until we could, and I would just put a recorder on the table and hit record. And we'd get so drunk that where we couldn't even play anymore. And sometimes we'd pass it on the couch, and then we'd wake up the next day and be like, "Oh, let's see what we got." And play about the recorder, and be like, "You remember that?" Yeah, no. Yeah. And everything is like, "Did you write that or I write?" I don't know who wrote what, but it's awesome. You come up with some cool stuff when you're when you're hammered. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. Well, you know, you were here in August, and you said that uh, one of the names you were you were tossing around for the album was Jacket on the Rack. Yeah. Obviously, that didn't happen. I don't understand that, man. No. 
did you like Jack on the Rack better? Or how'd I think, work? yeah, I do. Personally, this is Wes Galen. I, I personally <laughs> like Jacket on the Rack or Spooge Fest way better than Volume 4. All right, so what happened? Why did it become Volume 4? So I'd like, go to the gym every day, so I would. He knows some, like, he probably knows somebody at, like, Walmart. He's like, I think you know, like, you got some CEO of Walmart or something. He's like one of your best friends. Yeah, He's awesome. like, I ain't going to work Jacket on the Rack, Spooge Fest thing ain't going to work. Dude. It's oh, actually, no, it's actually Sam true. himself. He's on my speed dump. Oh, is it? Yeah, <laughs> Sam Walmart. Yeah, Sam, you have So the Volume 4 title was PC. If you want to call it Spooge Fest, though, go right ahead, everybody. I don't care. <laughs> take, a, take a Sharpie and just cross it out. Let's see. Awesome, awesome. I had a, uh, a listener call, and he wanted to know, a pretty, pretty easy question, pretty straight up for you. Do you ever get tired of touring? I think I know the answer, and I think everybody in the room knows the answer. But uh... I, We're happy to. I'll tell you what. We had a, mo we had a month and a half off. And then we had the record mm -hmm. and the month and a half off, so we're we're happy to be back out here, man. But you got to get like when you get on tour, you got, you, have, you know you have to get your like road you know your road self back, sure. you know, because you get lazy. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. and then you know the rehearsals were like, God, there was a couple of them that were just like a disaster. <laughs> I was a disaster. <laughs> we're all tired. We did the song for the Olympics, and it's just like. You know, we were just up till like five, six o'clock in the morning in the studio every day trying to, you know, we were writing this song called Shook Up the World. And it's, I think, going to go out. Of, can we say, what, what do you need to say? Some to Dick Embersall? Is that the dude? <laughs> no, Dick, Dick Embersall. <laughs> Embersall. Hey, Dick, man, if you're listening, dude, I mean, seriously, man, make a move, bro. I, mean, I love you, brother. Make a move, homie. We're waiting right now for the answer. Call us. That's awesome. WZZO, Are you going to use the song in the Olympics? Is that what the. Uh, that's the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. that's the. They approached us to do it, and we wrote this song, and just didn't sleep. I mean, there was like, oh, it was like, okay, ready to go. We need it in like three days. Mix, mastered, completely done. We're like, what? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we did it, and then, you know, that whole little, little cat fight with Conan and oh, Leno, yeah, Leno and yeah. all that stuff has just got NBC, I guess. Took just, the main stage there. That's, yeah, we got in the we got on the. Uh, the rear burner. Oh, yeah, they were like <laughs> the rear burner. <laughs> Conan Leno or the puddle of mud. So yeah, crazy. you know, hey, you know. I think they should have went with the puddle of mud. I know they don't know where the mud's at. Out there's no money in the right Conan. now. That's right. That's right. Well, all right. So you guys are on tour with Shine Down. The uh, tour just kicked off. Any war stories so far? Oh think God. Dude, we just told you the war story. Yeah. I'm not sure if we stayed on the air. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, should we brag about stuff air. like that? or I'll have to use We'll leave that and mum's the word on that one for Yeah, yeah, we're going we're gonna to. We'll let that surface later. <laughs> All right. Well, there's a good story. I wish we could share it. Maybe I could share it with you. You share it when we're not in here. In there, you got it. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> we're we're going to save that one for the book, man. Yeah, right? <laughs> Puddle of Mud, the book. Can't wait for that. Can't wait for that. Uh, also, a listener called, too. He, uh, he wanted me to tell you that he flew all the way here from Great Falls, Montana. Nice. To see your show tonight. It's wow. a nice place, actually. Wow. That's a really cool place oh, to go. Well, I think he could have flown you probably a lot closer to Montana, but he decided to Have come. you ever been to Montana, dude? Yeah, you're right. No. The place is pretty nice, man. Oh, it's nice. It's pretty it's cool. Nice. Yeah. They got some, uh, they got some good looking little uh, female women up in that field, man. Snow buddies. Well, snow buddies up there. Yes, love it. Love it. Beautiful part of the world. All right, guys. Well, thank you very much for coming back to the Lehigh Valley. I know um, you're getting paid, so I really want to thank you for it. But uh, show tonight, <laughs> Stabler Arena. You would be surprised, my man, <laughs> at the financial intake, brother. Yeah. What's volume four? Volume four? It sold like 20 million records already. Right? Oh yeah. yeah! Oh yeah! <laughs> oh yeah! All right. There's still tickets left for tonight. Puddle of mud and shine down over at Stabler Arena in Bethlehem. I love you guys. Thank you very much for coming in. Have so much fun tonight. All right. We will.